Good afternoon, YouTube or BookTube. This is Johnny sitting in my main study. I call this my main study because I do have down in the lower level, in the lower level is talking about, we have an open basement that goes out into the backyard. Our house is built on a, like a little hill, a little slope. And this is my main study and my, I consider the lower level a study, even though I don't go there down there that much except to get books out of the library and to, I used to keep a laptop down there in the lower level, but the Wi-Fi was so low, no power that I brought up my laptop up here and it's on the dining room table. So I have, we have a main computer in the, the living room and then in the dining room I have my laptop. Now my laptop I bought oh, about three years ago and I thought I would, uh, I had another laptop that I had for many, many years and I still have that downstairs. But that one is so old, it's super low and I I just keep it plugged in and I don't, I use it once in a rare while. But my, our newest laptop, I bought about a couple years ago and the battery died. And I, I realized after I bought it that I don't like going anywhere like to write. I thought when I bought it, oh, I would take it to the woods where I take it to a coffee shop or take it to the library, but I don't, and then I realized I don't like writing or working on my laptop with people around me. So it sat down on the lower level and then I would go down there and use it, but there's so many books and so many walls surrounding the laptop that it, the, it couldn't get any power. So I brought it up here and I keep it on the dining room table and so, and I use it once in a while throughout the day. I'll pull it over where I usually sit in the dining room and I will look at the news or the weather or sometimes I'll write on it. It was really a, just a, a luxury item. I didn't really need it. But um, today is a Saturday and it is according to my diary. It is Saturday, December the 8th, 2018. It is 3.18 in the afternoon here in Southwest Michigan. I end it in my diary today on 1,047. For the year 2000, I've written thus far 1,047 pages. So on January the 1st, 2019, I will start on page one if I am still alive. Yeah, uh, Carol, my wife, has been off last couple of days, but this afternoon she went to see a, 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 one of her niece is in a civic play, civic center, some theater, civic theater uh, play, The Christmas Story or something like that, and she went and to support her niece and... Uh, so yeah, so I don't, uh, I've just been staying home today, no football, no noise, just writing in my diary, and uh, this after, this morning I was reading, same thing, an ocean of light, contemplation, contemplation, transformation, and liber liberation by Martin Lard, and I was reading the Philokalia, Volume 1, I was reading a little bit of that on spiritual knowledge by St. Dacicus of Philtikea, who was born there in the... Uh, I said I think he was born in 400, something like that. So I was reading that. Looking at Mysticism, a Study in the Nature and Development of Man's Spiritual Consciousness by Evelyn Underhill. And reading uh, John Ruderbeck. So that's what I read this morning from my devotions. Keep my mind 
uh, divine realities and uh, yeah and this afternoon I was reading once again Moon Glow by Michael Chabon and I mentioned in my video when I was reading this a while back I was reading another novel at the same time and I got I put this one aside and then I started reading this one and I mentioned this a couple of months ago Jonathan Latham Dissonant Gardens this is the one I really got into and I put this one aside and I'm almost done with this and uh, I could finish it even today if I wanted to but so I've been looking at these earlier this afternoon and in the mail just I got this biography or Oranda or Anna Falcus Falcus uh, the journalist agitator and the legend this is this was in was written in Italian by Christiana di Stefanino translated from Italian by Marina Harsis and so I got that in the mail today as you know I a couple of weeks ago I picked up at a, at a thrift store novel by Oriana Follick for a C it was called man and uh, but I want to read about her life so I got this today in the mail so that's what I'm reading where I've read I've been kind of got a fresh cup of coffee And I've just been kind of wandering the house, looking at the birds. Not sure what to do next. Uh, I thought about going to a local thrift stores around where we live, but yesterday at the book nook, I got like that many books. I mean, I got like nine. How many books did I get yesterday? I was going to show those tomorrow in a video. I'm not going to show them today, but I'll show them tomorrow. How many, how many books did I get yesterday? Let's see here. I got one, two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight books yesterday from the book nook. And uh, really good, m m most of them are biographies, as you know, I like biographies. And that's one thing I'm always, I was thinking about today, about biography. Uh, how we live our lives, that we're born and we have a family or we don't have a family. And we go through our childhood and we go through our teenage years. And we go through our 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s. And we go through this life with all its ups and downs, its darkness, its light, its joys, its sorrows, its loves, or broken heart, maybe a divorce, maybe broken family, maybe loved ones dying, or, you know, think all the jobs that we might go through. And you think about education, high school, college, university, maybe getting a doctorate, traveling, United States. I never have traveled outside the United States. Well, I did go to Canada once. We we're going through Canada and dropping down into Vermont. That was when the kids were little many years ago. But I haven't traveled outside the United States like Europe or Asia or Hawaii or the Arctic Circle or anything like that. I don't really, I mean, I would like to travel, but I don't, I feel, I don't, I get really freaked out <laughs> the idea of going somewhere because I, I like being in this house. I like my books and my pen and my paper and my music and just the little quiet little life I have here. And But I, I live my life inside my mind and I can look at, read biographies. I can, I have, I collect travel books. I can go on the internet and look at, you know, all kinds of things to 
live in an imaginary world. But, and I like looking at people's lives, that's why I read biographies of writers and journalists and painters and politicians and eccentrics, mystics, people like that. So, yeah, not much else going, you know, I, I like these vo these vlogs where people film being outside or doing something besides showing a book or doing book reviews. And I thought of doing that, but um, I don't really go anywhere. And uh, I thought about going at downtown Holland and doing a video of showing you downtown Holland, but I don't go downtown Holland, even though it's a nice, Holland's a very nice town. It's, it's a big college town. There's Hope College, Western Theological Seminary. It's a town full of churches and parks and trees. It's called Tree City. There's trees everywhere in Holland. And people, when spring comes, they like planting tulips and flowers. And, and there's lots of parks. It's right near Lake Michigan. There's beaches and parks by Lake Michigan. And it's a nice place to live. There's, you go south of Holland, it's all farmland corn and cows and pigs and and uh, you go north of Michigan it's all woods people go up there for bear hunting and deers and chasing wild turkeys and there's lots of lakes and people have cabins they go up to on the weekend and and things people are into sailing because of the Great Lake um, Lake Michigan and so it's a nice place to live except I don't like the winters. I we know we're coming into the winter season, but you take the bad with the good. So yeah, so I've been reading those books I showed you, writing in my diary, watching the birds, sitting in silence, just uh, drifting through this day, which I'm very thankful for that I don't live in a war zone I'm not in some kind of uh, detention camp. I'm not homeless. Uh, I'm not uh, living in a rescue mission or a shelter for homeless people. I have much to be thankful for on this these holy days when we think about the birth of the Messiah. Oh, I wanted to show you another book. I forgot to show you this book. I got this book a week ago is The Philosophy of Revelation, a new annotated edition by Hermit Bavick. I've shown you in the in the past uh, Hermit Bavick's Four Volume Dogmatics and other works. He was his works have been translated out of Dutch into English. This first came out oh it came out a long time ago, but this is a new annotated edition. And I got this in the mail, and I haven't really gotten into it, but I wanted to show it. The Philosophy of, Re the Philosophy of Revelation, new annotated edition by Herman Bavick, edited by Corey Brock and Nathaniel Gray Sutino. These two guys did their PhD on the philosophy and theology of the Dutch theologian Herman Bavick. So I, I look forward to getting into this someday. Uh, I still have on my desk, you know, Human Nature, From Calvin to Edwards by Paul Helm. I still have Theosity of Love, Cosmic Conflict and the Problem of Evil by John C. Peckham. And Reformed Thought of Freedom, the Concept of Free Choice, and Early Modern Reform Art Theology. Edited by William J. Van Ansett. So I, but I haven't really been in the mood to read something that kind of heavy. So I've been reading basically books on contemplation, silence, stillness, Christian spirituality, things like that. And I have been reading William Perkins, uh, a Golden Chain, which is. Re appeared in Reformed Theology, and I've still been reading Reformed Preaching 
by Joel R. Beakey. It's a book on how to proclaiming God's word from the heart to the of the preacher to the heart of his people by Joel R. Beakey. So, but I've been kind of in a mystical mood, kind of just kind of like you know out there hovering over the dark abyss, <laughs> you might say, dwelling on the cloud of unknowing, dwelling on the light or just in the light and being the light i don't know so i'll stop my rambling uh hope you're having a good saturday like i said here in southwest michigan here in holland is now 3 30. i'm having a cup of coffee and making this video kind of like a vlog what i do every day or what my general day is like as i go through my life so hope you're all having a good day and have a new week until next time bye